and welcome to the last part of my tutorials on UI. So, we're back to, we're going to end with the progress bar, our scroll bar, and uh, our combo box. So, let's get to it. Like the previous one, I'm just going to go over it. I'm not going to explain and program each part just because it's more of the same. Uh, so for the scroll bar, uh, we got some functions. Um, I have a, like a virtual, pure virtual function for find nearest point because you could have a virtual scroll bar or a, a horizontal one, which would this would basically calculate differently depending on which axis you move. And get some values. Scroll on, yeah, so on scroll, event listener, initialize, update, etc., etc. Um, combo box, add, remove items. Oops, I mean, how simple can it be? And um, progress bar. Uh, minimum, maximum, and current value. Get percentage, get percentage in string. Uh, set the value, etc. So that's that for the header files. Uh, I guess we can go over the CPP files as well. What is it? Combo box, scroll bar, and progress bar. I mean, it's not that complicated, right? Um, so yeah. Nothing too interesting happening here either. It's what you would expect for getters and setters mostly. Add or remove items. Uh, yeah, here I, I do this, but it's up to you guys to expand these controls. This is just for me, for the game, it will be enough, I hope. Okay, so, a combo box here, and we have our progress bar and our vertical scroll bar. Likewise, some functions uh, that will register with the listeners. Sprite sheet again. Progress bar has one label, which is a percentage in the middle of the bar, so you know how, how far it is. Um, show text true or false, seeing if you have a health bar, you might not want to show anything on it. Um, combo box has a lot more going on. We'll go over this one last. Uh, scroll bar. Yeah, nothing too interesting. Here's the overrided function. And that's about it. So let's go to. Let's. Um, yeah. So we'll go over. Which one was it? Combo box, right? Yeah. Let's go over the CPP files first for the progress bar and for the scroll bar. So find nearest point, uh, mouse position, get draw position, you calculate everything. Uh, you find it, you know, the steps it takes in between points. Uh, if you scroll a mouse, it will do an event. And then scroll the, the bar as well. So if I do... I just go mouse over it. I can scroll it with my wheel. Um, uh, basic initialize, drawing, uh, debug mode. Well, you guys know how it works if you've followed before. The code will be available on GitHub. So I'm just doing these tutorials to show you that it. Like a, a component, like to like a UI element, doesn't have to be complicated. Like this, what is this? Like a hundred lines of code. It's not like. Does it say here? Here, twenty eighty-two lines of code. That's including just these. So it's it's nothing. So it's not that complicated. So that's a scroll bar. You know, the progress bar is even. So more or less, well, it's a little bit more. 
that's just because it's a little bit more complicated for the drawing. Um, yeah, depending on which percentage it is, um, you have to decide what to draw. Um, initialize. Yeah, not uh, nothing too crazy. And everything you would expect. Now the combo box, we're going to go over a little bit more in detail because this is a lot more here. What is it? 318. So it's a little bit more complicated. So what you have is a button. So here, I'll maybe make it visible a little bit. So what we have is a button here. We have a text box here or a label. We have a panel. So if I draw here, we have a panel. That everything so the, the scroll bar is inside the panel as well as all these labels um, the, you just draw the background and then the labels depending on the position of the scroll bar will display a different um, uh, what do you call it? item on it so number 10 this is still label 5 and this is still label 5. So that's kind of how it works. So you, basically it's visible and it's not visible. And if you click down, the button, if it's open, the icon on the button will change depending on the state. So there's a, little, a couple things going on. Um, technically this guy, just to make it the same, this guy goes there it kind of look the same so yeah you have a couple things going on so this is a combo box uh, events drop down button mouse scroll so the, the pa uh, mouse scroll is apparently registered to panel you have scroll bar scroll which is something else label click so any label is it even this label the one with the main text I forget Yeah, I don't think this one does anything, but any all of these are registered to that event. And we have a selected index change. That's all it is for the header file. Now, here you can see the draw is quite large. There's many things happening. Um, yeah, maybe I should have put more comments down. For you guys so if it's drop down state that's what it draws this is the the text field so it will draw the button and the, and the thing in the text box um yeah i think most of this is for the yeah if it's depending on the amount of items things change so if you just have one item, it's just one. If it's less than five, it will hold the side. Um, some stuff. Uh, how big, uh, how many uh, labels to show and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's it for this tutorial slash explanation slash just showing off. But, um, I hope these past tutorials kind of show what you could do with the system I set up and uh, of course there are some bugs and some minor issues that could still be fixed um, it's up to you guys I guess to add new features or controls whatever you would like and depending on your sprite sheet or elements you use um, it would you would do things differently so what are we going to work on next? Um, I skipped ahead and went for, with UI Manager, but I think we'll implement an animation. Um, I think this is supposed to say complicated. There we go. Because it's going to be quite complicated. What we're going to do is um, I think we're going to 
kind of emulate what Unity has for their animation system just because they spend a lot of time thinking of how to do it and it works quite well. So it will take some setup for us because we're going to do everything in code where they do everything in the in the UI, but um, I think we can get back to the, I'll get back to this uh, and show an example of it working. And then we're going to go through it. Um, so tune in next time where we're going to start our animation system. So we're going to have like a animator and an animation. And we're going to have like transitions and triggers and stuff. So tune in next time.